Hi, I'm Richard. Over the last 10 years, I've helped thousands of students apply for top UK universities and hundreds of students like you apply for the TSA. Today, I've spoken to three of the top UK TSA private tutors and combined their tips to deliver them in this video. As you probably know, the TSA is the Thinking Skills Assessment. It is a 90 minute to two hour computer based test, which will test your reasoning skills. That's your numerical and critical thinking skills in a time pressured environment. The TSA is required for most economics related courses at Oxford, for land economy at Cambridge, as well as political sciences courses at UCL. Now those universities say you cannot prepare for the TSA, and that is absolute nanas. The average student we work with increases their score by 20% after just two mock examinations. All exams have a mark scheme and anything that has a mark scheme can and should be prepared for, especially when it's applying for the top universities in the UK. The TSA has two sections. Section one is a very time pressured 90 minute section in which you will have to answer 50 multiple choice questions ranging from data analysis numerical reasoning, quick mental arithmetic, but also analysis of text to find the conclusions and inferences within. Section two is a broad question asking you something such as, do you think that businesses should focus on profit or people? And is your opportunity to go very, very broad and far beyond what you might be able to do in the A-level or IB syllabus? The TSA is marked only for section one. So you will get one mark per question you get right, up to a maximum of 50. But because some questions are harder or take longer than others, they will then turn that into square out of 100. So one question might be worth two marks and another might only be worth 0.3 of a mark, for example. Now you don't know this during the exam and it's really important with your practice to be able to assess is this a question that's gonna take more time or less time for me to answer and to skip past those that might take you a little bit longer and come back to them at the end. Now the TSA is an exam and all exams can be prepared for, whether that's doing a timed mock or working with a professional such as those in our network to help you know what sorts of questions are gonna be asked have frameworks for those questions so that you can perform your very best on the day and give yourself the best chances of getting in. If you'd like to contact a professional TSA tutor, do contact us, there'll be a link in the description below. So the TSA is marked in zero and 100, and typically you need to score above 60 in order to get in, although that number is rising over the years. Notoriously, a couple of years ago, no student got into Oxford without a score of over 60. Cambridge themselves say that a score of 70 is extremely competitive and is likely to lead to an interview, and only 3% of students get over 80%. So this is not a test that you're going to get anywhere near 100% in. The most important tip for a good TSA score is practice makes perfect. There are multiple locks available online but it's really important to do them under timed conditions. That's print it out at home, make sure that no one in your family is going to distract you, set yourself a timer, and do not look at the answers. The amount of students who've already come to me having looked at a question, not being able to do it, and then looked at the answer and think that that is good preparation is very, very high indeed. You must know what it feels like to not be able to do the question. Now remember that 80% is only a score that 3% of people get. So you need to be used to struggling in this exam and knowing when it's time to move on and when it's not. My second tip is actually to use the GMAT critical reasoning tests as practice for those quite tricky questions where you have to summarize an argument or find the main conclusion or a premise. The GMAT reasoning questions are very similar to TSA questions, and my students have found that's a really, really good source of thousands of questions to get them performing very well in those sorts of non-quantitative questions. Thirdly, it's really important 
to know the common question types. Now, there are about 20 different question types. I can't go through all of them in one video. Maybe I'll make a second video for them, but work with a professional in order to understand the different types of questions and the frameworks and methodologies for that. Know the difference between a comparing question, between a data analysis question, and between a summarizing and finding the assumptions question. Lastly, this is a time pressured exam and not all questions are equal. Remember, some questions might be worth over two marks and another, which everyone gets right, might only be worth a fraction of a mark. Through practice, you'll better understand how likely you are to be able to get an answer in a certain question, as well as knowing which questions are your strengths that you can do faster and which are your weaknesses, which you should move on to. At the end, if there is time, and there's often not, you can go back and look at those questions that you've starred. But it's really important to know how to prioritize to make sure that you've seen all 50 of the questions before the timer runs out. That's just a very small summary of tips for how to perform well in the TSA. Please do contact us in the description below if you'd like to know over 50 tips we have with a question bank of over 2,000 past questions and extra help from those professional TSA tutors. Thanks for watching. I really hope you found that helpful. I'm part of a network of over 1,000 professional admissions consultants, and we are deeply proud to have a 90% success rate for our students of getting into their first or second choice university. If you'd like to join them and work with me or one of my colleagues, contact us through the information on screen now or in the description below. Good luck. I hope you get into your first choice university.